finally tonight, a creature battling for survival, the polar bear. The Interior Department today placed it on the list of threatened species, but is that enough to save the bears? Here's our science and technology correspondent, Daniel Seberg. This is a story about ice. Polar bears depend on it. It's their lifeline, their highway, essential for hunting seals and traveling. But as shown in these slides from today's Department of the Interior press conference, over a 30-year period, that ice has been rapidly vanishing. My hope is that the projections from these models are wrong and that sea ice does not further recede. The government declared the polar bear to be threatened, but not endangered, meaning the bear is not at imminent risk of extinction. While the administration agrees global warming is causing the ice to melt, today's ruling under the Endangered Species Act, or ESA, stopped short of saying industry and greenhouse gases are to blame. Listing the polar bear as threatened can reduce avoidable losses of polar bears, but it should not open the door to use the ESA to regulate greenhouse gas emissions. The Department of the Interior doesn't want the bears to be an excuse for enacting initiatives against global warming. They say that should be up to Congress. But environmentalists say this action lacks any bite, preventing real reform with major polluters and oil drilling projects. An oil spill could wipe out the polar bear population. We need real leadership in this country. We need comprehensive global warming legislation to protect the polar bear and to protect us. Today's decision is a compromise that falls short for both industry and environmentalists, though they both worry that the long-term future of this Arctic icon may be on thin ice. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, New York.